Hello everyone and welcome to our 2022 Summer Reading Program Virtual Film Series. This year's theme is Oceans of Possibility. My name is David and I'm one of the librarians here at Moffitt Library who helped curate this summer selection. If you haven't already seen it, be sure to check out our selected film from last week on Chesil Beach. Our summer reading program is full of activities and events with tumultuous storms, schools of fish, and creaking sailboats. So make sure to check out the oceans of possibility at your library this summer. We'll be using the streaming service Canopy to showcase each of our selected films. Canopy is completely free with your library card. All you need to do is log in with your card number and create a free account. Here at Moffitt, you receive five play credits per month to watch anything you like. Once the five credits are exhausted, all you need to do is wait until next month when they automatically refresh for more streaming entertainment. Even better, some parts of Canopy, such as kids content and the Great Courses Lecture Series, do not consume play credits, and you can enjoy those to your heart's content. I've put the link to Moffitt Library's Canopy page in the description if you want to get started right away. Otherwise, you can visit our website, moffittlibrary.org, at any time to use Canopy and our other great online services. Each Monday during the summer reading program, I'll be posting video introductions to our selected film to discuss some of its history, context, and highlights. All you need to do is grab a snack, queue up the film on Canopy, and enjoy some great movies at home. Today's film is the 1989 suspense-filled thriller, Dead Calm. Based on a 1963 novel of the same name by American author Charles F. Williams, Dead Calm is the story of a young married couple who are vacationing by sailing alone around the Great Barrier Reef. Isolated, they come across a derelict schooner and a single delirious survivor who may not appear all that he seems. Dead Calm is a suspense movie, so I won't get too deep into the details. You'll just have to watch and find out. Dead Calm stars Sam Neill, just a few years before his Jurassic Park fame, as the husband, and Billy Zane as the survivor. It also introduced Nicole Kidman in her international breakthrough role as the wife. Other than those characters, director Phil Noyce's film is a sparse, claustrophobic production that emphasizes the isolation and precariousness of life at sea. The film had a fairly troubled production, with Warner Brothers insisting on several reshoots of the ending in response to test audiences finding the original ending too ambiguous to enjoy. Despite that, it was a critical success based on strong performances of all three actors. One potential horror influence was the 1979 film Alien, also featuring a tough, resourceful woman menaced and trapped with an unsettling danger. Prior to the filming of this movie, Williams's novel was also the basis for an unfinished film directed by Orson Welles called The Deep. The production history of The Deep was even more curious and troubled than the film we're considering today. With a rotating door of famous actors such as Peter O'Toole, Charlton Heston, and Wells himself attempting to bring Williams's novel to life, the deep overshot one deadline after another. Despite this, cast and crew hailed the production as yet another example of Williams's talent and dedication to film craft. Financial troubles and the loss of the film negative have resulted in this film only being remembered fondly in the memoirs and interviews of those who worked on it. Please note that Dead Calm is rated R for some sexual content, violence, and disturbing sequences, and viewer discretion is advised for families. We hope that you enjoy Dead Calm and join us again next week for another film during the Moffitt Library Summer Reading Program. Have a great day, everyone.